So here's an example of a nucleophilic addition to a polar pi bond. This reaction works for aldehydes or ketones. It works fairly well in general. Um, a couple variations of it. And we're doing hydride addition, right? So this is a simplification of a mechanism, but a sodium borohydride with water or lithium aluminum hydride in water will act and add hydride, H minus, to essentially reduce their aldehyde down to an alcohol. And so new, hydro, new hydrogen bonded to that carbon, double bonds gone, hydrogen up on the oxygen. The, with a the different reactant, with lithium aluminum hydride, this is a stronger reactant, but it gives you the same result. Right, if you're drawing this, you don't need to show the two hydrogens there in a skeletal structure, but they're there for emphasis that the reagents created the hydride source. So the mechanism for this, uh, forgive the light cube here, we'll work around it. Uh, sodium borohydride is, can essentially work as a hydride source. So this isn't exactly what it would look like if you were watching these molecules in solution but it makes the mechanisms work out nice. Right. So hydride is our nucleophile in this case. We've seen hydride before as a base. This is nucleophilic hydride. And of course, that's going to react with the electrophile, the positive carbon of the carbonyl. Neither hydrogen nor this methyl group are good leaving groups, so those will not break off. Our pi bond will break. Right, so our oxygen is still there, but we broke the pi bond, put the electrons up on the oxygen. Right, now it's got three lone pairs. And a new hydrogen was added here, so we're most of the way there. Right, so the next step is where the water comes in. Right, so there's nothing else for another hydride or a nucleophile to react with. We still have a strong base. So having water around will allow that to do a proton transfer. All right, so this is a nucleophilic addition. So both mechanisms would look the same, simplifying either sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride to just hydride. All right, so that acts as a nucleophile, adds to the carbon, pushes the electrons up, and then we have a proton transfer to finish. So this is our nucleophilic addition step, and then this is just a proton transfer step to finish it.